Hello everybody and good day. This is Fred with Wentworth CCTV of New England and we are coming at you today with a video on a cloud storage solution for your IP security cameras. Uh, it's very simple to attach these cameras to a cloud service. We're going to be using Cam Cloud today and a Hekvision IP camera that is networked on, on our LAN. Um, so we're going to cover this right now. Okay, let's get into the meat and potatoes. Uh, before we start, please subscribe to our channel. There is a subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. Um, also like our video if it's useful um, and leave comments. That's important to us too. Yes, traditionally security cameras are um, networked locally. In other words, you would mount the cameras in your facility. You'd run hard wires from the location of the cameras to a recording device. Um, that had a local hard drive, whether it be one terabyte, four terabyte, uh, eight terabyte. Um, and then you would network that uh, recorder um, to your uh, router, modem, uh, server, um, and download a phone app, um, which you had to configure to view the cameras remotely. So the cloud um, has made this very simple, much simpler, and you don't have to worry about maintenance. You don't have to worry about the recorder going bad. You don't have to worry about the hard uh, drive going bad. You don't have to worry about if the, the network is down. Everything's done through the cloud, right? Uh, and it's really simple to add these cameras. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to um, the Cam Cloud website and you're going to create an account. I've already done so. Um, but once you create your account, which again, you can click don't have an account here and create one, you're going to log in. And the first time you log in, you're going to have to do what? You're going to have to add a camera, right? And to add a camera, it's going to ask you for some information, okay? It's going to ask the manufacturer of your camera. You see Hikvision here, um, Foscam, Access, Amcrest, Vivitech. Um, so we're going to pick Hikvision because this is a Hikvision camera, right? And we're going to name this camera, okay? We're going to name this demo camera um, because that's what we're doing with it. And we're going to hit next. Now it's going to ask for the network settings um, of the camera. Okay. It's going to auto populate your dynamic or static IP address, the ports we need to forward, uh, and that type of stuff. So what we need to do now is find the camera. And we need to enter the camera's username and password. Um, and again, we need to port forward these ports so everything will work together. We are going to use our SADP tool. Um, again, there's a link above for downloading the SADP tool um, to find and manage your security cameras. We're not going to cover that right now, um, but if you watch that video, it will show you how to do it. Um, so, yeah, let's open SADP and find the IP address of our camera. Now, this camera has already been um, added to our network using a PoE switch. Um, generally, when you hook up a security camera, you'll, you know, run CAT6 cable or CAT5 cable from the location of the IP camera um, to a PoE switch, and then the PoE switch would be plugged into the NVR, and the NVR would pick up the camera automatically. In this case, there is no NVR, right? We're going to cloud manage the camera, so that PoE switch is plugged directly into the back of our, of our router or modem, whatever you have to give it internet. Um, so using SADP, we can see our camera is at 192.168.0.21. So we are going to open Internet Explorer. And we are going to go into that camera. As you can see, it's, it's just a camera in the shop, but um, we will go to the configuration tab. We're going to hit the network tab. And we're just going to look at our ports to make sure they match um, what the cam cloud wants. You see 80 and 554. Those are the ports for the camera. And as we saw here, they are the ports that, um, that the cloud solution wants. Um, I've already found the username for all Hikvision cameras are going to be admin, and the password is going to be the password you used um, when you set it up. 
Again, there's a video link above that shows you how to set up one of these cameras. Right. So we're going to put in the password. Um, and before we log in to this IP address, what we want to do is port forward these ports, again, 80 and 554, in our modem or router. So I'm going to log into my router. And folks, port forwarding is basically the same um, in any modem or router, okay? Somewhere there is going to be an advanced tab um, and you will see forwarding under there, okay? For the sake of time in this video, we have already gone in and port forwarded ports 80 and 554, as you can see here, um, to the IP address of the camera, which is 192 period, 168 period, uh, 21 period zero, period 21. Um, and what that's going to do is any incoming traffic to, to either of these ports, it's going to be redirected to the IP address of the camera. Again, 192, period 168, period zero, period 21. Um, so that part has been done. Um, if you need more instruction and more help on how to port forward, uh, once again, there's a link up top walking you through the port forwarding process. Okay. Now that the camera has been port forwarded and we have put the username and password here, we can add this camera um, to our Cam Cloud account. Okay, so we're going to hit next and it's going to test the camera connection um, and we've connected it. Um, it's going to ask you how you want to trigger um, events and that's certainly by motion. Um, you can tell it what type of video you want, 1080p or, or 720. Um, I picked 720 just for streamability, and this is an interior camera. If you wanted to pick 1080p, um, that is fine as well. Um, we want to get notifications. Um, again, you can ask for just motion um, or camera health check. I like to do the health check too because it will give you an alert if by chance the camera goes on long, offline or if you have a problem with your camera. Um, the schedule is always on. Image appearance can be normal. IR mode is auto. Um, and we're going to finish this up, folks. And this is going to connect our security camera to the Cam Cloud account. It's really as simple as that. Um, once that's done, you'll be able to live view the camera right here. There she is. Um, simple as that. Of course, when motion is populated, um, you have a timeline here, just like you do with the Hikvision MVR, and you could basically click on the time to do playback. Um, there's also a option with this Cam Cloud to download the video. Um, it will download it to your settings here um, once that's completed, okay? And it will populate your downloads file. Um, so that's basically it, folks. It's relatively simple. It is definitely the wave of the future and it's low maintenance, right? You don't, you don't need the cost of the recorder. You don't have to worry about the hard drive and formatting the hard drive. You don't have to worry about networking the recorder. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff with the cloud. It's relatively cost effective um, to get a Cam Cloud account. I believe it is $6 per month per camera. Um, and that gives you a week's worth of storage. Um, so if you have, say, a four-camera system in your home, um, you know, it's going to be about 40 bucks a month. Um, again, some people like the recorder method. Some people like the cloud. I think long-term, the, the cloud is a good solution. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Again, please subscribe to our videos if you like them. Uh, leave us comments uh, and certainly like the video if it's useful to you. And we'll see you in the field.